Hey, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I shaved it all off. <laughs> uh, kind of got a baby face going on. Hey, um, it's your boy, Terrence. It's the Terrence kind of thing coming at you. I gotta, I gotta get used to this <laughs> and, um, and promote my little small channel so I can become a huge big channel. Um, yo, I'm bored. I'm in my hotel room right now. I am cleaning up a little bit and I said, Hey, you know, it's two, two Oh seven, two Oh eight in the morning. Um, I'm in New York still. So, you know, Eastern standard time. Um, I said, why not? Let me get on. Um, let me, let me, let me just, uh, record some stuff, get on YouTube, talk a little bit. It's just so much going on. Um, I hope everybody, I hope all of you are doing great. Hope you're feeling great. Um, you know, I know we're all going through a lot of struggles and, you know, situations in life. Um, but we're going to make it. We're going to be, we're going to be great. We are great. We're going to manifest all positive things. Um, and I don't want to even want to say negative things, but all the not so good things, we're going to turn them into positives. Um, it's a reason for everything. I'm a big believer in that. And I can testify to that. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so uh what am i doing i am in the um i'm in the works uh, like i said of, of uh cleaning up packing up my things um putting them in the car driving back to mississippi i cannot wait to see my sister i cannot wait to see my dad i cannot wait to see my nieces and nephews i miss them so much um, I love being an uncle. <laughs> I love hearing that Uncle Terrence. <laughs> um, but yeah, I um I'm doing that. And then next um we have uh I feel like I'm way in the camera. <laughs> I gotta get used to this. I turn it sideways, I'm looking over here. But I guess that'll be okay. Um anyway, I am in um I am in, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I'm just so excited. I, um, I am going to um, be heading to Minnesota, Lord willing, next assignment. i um, very excited. Uh, I'm going to be with a new company, Aya Healthcare. They seem to be pretty good. You know, um, I don't think there's anything perfect or nothing perfect out there in the universe. Um, Lord knows I have been to a lot of places. I've dealt with, um, I can count on like both of my hands of travel companies. I've been doing this for, um, what, over 15 years now? Over 14 years traveling? Over 15 years as a uh, technologist. technologist. Um, shout out to all my STCSTs, FAs. We know we do it all out there in the, um, the surgical healthcare world. Um, but yeah, I, um, I'm excited. Um, like I said, I'm going to turn all the not so great things into wonderful, amazing things. It's just, it's, it all starts here, you know, in your mind. Um, so, but, um, I am super excited about that and we are, um, yeah, it's like, um, it was a small hospital, but small hospitals do not mean less work. Sometimes it means more and I'm up for the, I'm up for the, um, <clears throat> the challenge. But what I do like is when it's less people, um, and the work is there, I feel like I can focus. I can do what I do best. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing, um, I'll be working in surgery. Um, I'll be doing some endoscopy. I'm sure. Um, some serial processing, um, yeah, processing my own instruments that I actually use. Um, so that's always exciting. Um, in those type of places, you are, you're held accountable, okay, because you're opening up pill packs and wrapped items and pans and trays that you assembled. So has your John Han Hancock on it, um, and so... You know what? It's just best to be put up right. That's all I can say. And if there's things missing, you got to make sure to um, 
communicate that on a label or whatever. This is, this is, I want to talk about this too, because I think all of my healthcare professionals out there, especially like surgery, um, peep, peeps know what I'm talking about. You get, you get these items, um, uh, maybe a small frag synthesis tray. I know some people are like, what the heck is that? <laughs> so, um, it's instrumentation. Um, primarily using ortho, um, pretty much only using ortho cases. <laughs> and um, like if you break your ankle or certain bones on your body, you know, you're fractured and you need to have some screws or some plates um, put on that tray houses that those instrumentations and those implants. But it seems like sometimes you get a tray and there's nothing in it or there's something missing. And I, it's just, it's sad because I feel like sometimes like, I feel like it should never be that way, um, but unfortunately, it is. Um, and then you have to open up more stuff. So then your back table and, um, you know, your work environment, your space gets all cluttered and it's crazy. And you got the surgeon yelling at you and you got everybody else wanting something. Um, all, um, all while, you know, um, keeping sterility, you know, main, uh, maintaining your cool, um, trying to be respectful as you humanly can be. Sometimes it's a challenge. Um, but yeah, um, uh, I think, um, like again, it, 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 this is where it starts. Um, and you can't forget about your heart. <laughs> I feel like you got to have that passion and, um, the drive, um, uh, to do, um, to do that. But yeah, it just sucks when those things aren't, um, when people are not communicating. And so again, those are bigger facilities seems like, um, there's some small facilities, but I feel like when I do go to some small facilities and as I've been, I've been to Montana, um, Barrett health, Barrett health hospital and healthcare, um, small hospital, um, three ORs, I believe I remember, uh-huh, um, two ORs actually, two ORs and one, um, one endoscopy procedure room, um, little minor small cases under that room or, uh, you know, all of the endoscopy cases. But again, we were the sterile processing. We were, um, the decontam. We worked in surgery, obviously. Um, and, um, we just pretty much, you know, everybody that was in that facility. And again, I was a traveler there, repeat traveler, by the way, but everybody in that facility, um, definitely, um, pitched in and you have to in those small hospitals because you're all you have. So, um, I feel like attendance in those places were, um, were amazing. Um, because again, you are, you're the it person. <laughs> but anyway, um, I know this is all kind of confusing, but I guess why I'm like ranting and raving or rumbling about this is because, um, yeah, I just, I've just i been to so many states. I've been to so many hospitals. And I'm like, oh, where's the perfect place? I'm going to be finding a perfect place. I don't think I've ever came close to um, finding a, <laughs> an absolute wonderful place other than my, actually my very first travel assignment, Frisco, Colorado, um, at St. Anthony Summer Medical Center, been there several times, and it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, and the turnover was almost like it didn't exist. I mean, it was some of the same people, um, each and every time, and there's some people that are still there, and it's been years. Um, but also the environment, love the mountains, um, you know, love Breckenridge and Vale and Cyrodon and Dillon, um, Oh man, it's just so many cool places there. Um, and it was fun. So going from Mississippi to Colorado for the first time ever in my life, um, when I was what, 21 <laughs> was crazy. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, very exciting. Um, but like I said, a little nerve wracking, but, um, above, 
above everything and stuff. I just want to be positive. I want positive experiences. Um, again, like as I clean, as I pack, as I drive, um, you know, I always, I'm, I'm, I drive with Jesus. Okay. Any, um, and every day, <laughs> um, and I'm just, um, I'm excited. I'm excited about so many opportunities and I'm excited about this, um, YouTube. Um, so hopefully, um, you guys like, um, comment and subscribe. Um, I'm excited. Okay, in my last video too, I was mentioning my um, my nephews and my niece, <laughs> and I was like the McGregor boys, but I, I wanna um, uh, I wanna clarify that it's the McGregor kids, um, and they're on YouTube and it's amazing. I I love my nieces and nephews, um, but yeah, uh, really, <laughs> really. Uh, great group of kids so freaking brilliant love them um so yeah they're my inspiration too with trying to be consistent with the content and um i don't care if i'm talking if i'm showing you something um i want to be um i want to be better with this and so i got to make time um and again time management <laughs> i don't know if i spoke on it or not maybe not like on like on a video but definitely to um to family and friends time management is everything you can get so much done you just gotta manage that time um same with finances you gotta manage you gotta you have to make some sacrifices you gotta compromise you gotta again be positive and the not so great things and stuff turn it into a positive like i said it starts here um mental is everything i feel like uh i sound like a tennis coach <laughs> um which i have coached tennis okay i love some tennis um and i'm I'm excited about even that you know getting in spring a little bit warmer weather and being able to play um and compete maybe again and stuff and and maybe even getting the opportunity to even um show showcase that on the channel um like i said it's gonna be everything um and uh no one thing no one trick pony um but anyway <laughs> um i can I, I feel like i can talk to the camera all day but um hopefully i'll be talking to all of you out there in the youtube world and i hope um like again um you like you comment you subscribe um uh click the bell you know for that um notification that hey um there's a new video um and even in the future i know i'll be going live i just want to get up some more subscribers and again um i just have to be consistent i know i have to put the work in um this is fun um i just i love the opportunity so um uh anyway <laughs> i hope you know you like i said you having a great uh day night um afternoon evening whatever <laughs> and um and stay blessed um until next time uh my youtube family um i will talk to you guys later ciao <laughs> all right bye